What is the 29th of November in history? Uh, it's the first um, attainment of international recognition, I should say international seal of the right of the Jewish, Jewish people for a homeland in Israel, yeah, in the Middle East. So, and it, it was the last uh, step before the declaration of the state of Israel. And so when people think of the formation of Israel, they think of no, uh, May, May 14, 1940. Normally they think about May 14, right. But May 14 would not have occurred if it were not for uh, November 29. And I think we should um, talk about November 29 and celebrate it more than May 15, because May 15 came already to be a routine. You know, it became established. It's something that established does, establishment does, yeah. and somebody else will take care of it. Somebody else will uh, choreograph the celebration. We don't have, this is your statement. Whoever participated here made a personal statement in putting something together that normally you don't find in a city. That's why it's so unique. Isn't this the first commemoration in LA? Of the first commemoration in LA, correct. And I think it's the most pivotal event in the Jewish history since, since the destruction of the temple. This declaration? This declaration of the UN, yeah. My good friend and colleague here, uh, Professor Pearl invited me to come and share this story. How is this really important in uh, American Christianity, Catholicism? Uh, yeah, I certainly cannot speak for all of Christianity. Uh, I can certainly speak for Catholicism. We certainly take our Jewish roots very seriously. Uh, Christianity, Catholicism comes from uh, Judaism, and it's always been the position of the Catholic Church that Jews have a right to a stable and secure homeland. Well, to you, what does it mean? To me, it means the future of the Jewish people. Not just the past, it's not a, an, a, a, an old movement. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. It's a Zionism program. is our future. It's the hope of the Jewish people. And uh, we are kind of lately losing a little bit of that chazon, of that uh, uh, what's dream. That dream. dream. So we have to remind people, as we did today, where it all began. And Zionism was created as the home of the Jewish people, right. not just physically, but it is what we need to remember going forward. If we lose that, that vision, Zionism is a vision, and uh, if we lose that vision, we're in trouble. Many people think that Zionism is a colonialism, establishing a, a Jewish uh, state yeah. on someone else's land, and they look negatively on the, on the term Zionism. The, what is Zionism really? Do you know that there is never, on the land which is called Palestine, quote unquote, there has never been, other than a Jewish nation, there has never been any other people who have had a country on that land. That's a historical fact. Jerusalem was never the capital of anybody else. It was only the capital of the Jewish people. And it must remain the capital of the Jewish people. So anybody that is trying to, you know, up, up, obfuscate, what's the word? Yeah, obfuscate, yeah. The, the, the facts is only lying to people. The facts are that there was a Jewish kingdom, there was never any other kingdom, and there, and there was a city called Jerusalem that King David established as the capital of the Jewish people. It's never been anybody else's capital. Three thousand so look, years ago. Look up your facts. That that happens to be a fact. So let's not kid ourselves. We're not talking about colonialism. We're talking about returning to our land. It be, it was given by God to the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. So this performance tonight means a lot to you personally. I can see. Oh, absolutely. Because you know we we just talking to little kids who came to see it. They didn't know the history. If we don't know our history, we won't know where we're going. Yeah. Where did it all start? It started 65 years ago yeah. when the United Nations gave us our own land. 
Yes. Unfortunately, our neighbors could have said yes 65 years ago. They waited 65 years and they're saying they're still saying no. We would have avoided a lot of bloodshed. Yeah.